Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways to make money online as a work from home freelancer. So in today's tutorial, I want to talk to you about how to use Upwork's time tracker to log your hours and how it works once you get a job offer for an hourly job. If you're not familiar with Upwork, it's a platform where you can apply to thousands of different jobs online and you don't need to have experience to apply to these jobs. I have a complete playlist, which I have linked you to in the description below, teaching you how to get started on Upwork as a beginner freelancer. But today we're going to talk about hourly rate jobs and what you need to do to make sure you get paid. So once you've created an account with Upwork and you're searching for a job, you'll see that you can search by hourly jobs and fixed price jobs. And the difference is that with fixed price job, you will get paid an exact amount to complete the job. With hourly rate jobs, you get paid per hour of work. You can see there are over 118,000 hourly jobs available. So once you get hired for one of these hourly jobs, what you have to do is download the Upwork desktop app. And that app will occasionally take screenshots of your computer while you are working. And that way the client knows you're working on the task you are being paid to do, and you are protected because there's proof that you're working. So you will have Upwork's payment protection to make sure you get paid for the hours you log. So to download the app, go to upwork.com slash AB slash downloads. Here it says track your time for hourly payment protection. So you'll click on the drop down menu and download whatever Windows version matches your computer. If you have a Mac computer, just scroll down and download the Mac version. So then just run the .exe file on your computer and that will begin to install it. Agree to the license agreement and you have to log in using your Upwork account. If you get a security alert, just click allow access. So they give you a bit of information. Upwork on your desktop is a time tracker and instant messenger. Run the time tracker and describe your activity as you work for guaranteed payment on hourly contracts. So you can use the time tracker app to also send messages to your clients, but I'm going to focus on the tracker itself. So I'll close the messages. So here you'll have a list of any client that has hired you for an hourly rate job. You can see the client name and then hours this week, showing you how many hours you have logged this week. So you have to click on the contract that you're going to begin working because you might have multiple hourly rate jobs at once. Maybe one client has hired you for five hours a week, another client for 10 hours a week. So it's okay to be working on multiple contracts. And to begin tracking, click this little on button and make sure that you're ready to start working. So once you toggle this on, you should be able to start working. It will say that the time tracking has started. So now make sure that you are doing whatever you're supposed to be doing. Maybe that's editing some audio or video editing or content writing or transcribing, whatever the job is, begin working. As you are working, there will be a screenshot that will be taken of your computer screen. You'll see right here, it says screen capture taken. So let's say you want to take a small break, make sure to stop tracking because the app will take screenshots of your screen and it also will show the activity. So how often you are using your mouse or clicking on the keyboard. So you have to be doing something while you're working. So to turn off the time tracker to take a break or once you are finished working, open up the app again and then just click the button so it's off. So you can see here, it will say time tracking stopped. So now I want to give you a bit more information about the time tracker. Before you start tracking, you may want to edit the memo. And basically, if you click here, this allows you to add some information about what you are doing. So for example, transcribing you know, 30 minutes of audio or content writing for a blog article. Whatever it is you're working on, you might want to put in that memo. And you can change this memo every hour or every 30 minutes, or if you are working on something different. 
Another thing you can do is click here, add manual time. And if the client allows you to add manual time, you can add this in here. So for example, let's say you worked from midnight to 1 a.m. It will say an hour has been logged. You could put a memo of what you did and then click save. Now, very importantly, not all clients allow you to add manual time and manual time does not qualify for Upwork hourly protection. So usually try to use the time tracker and don't add manual time. But let's say you forgot to click start tracking and you were working for a couple hours, then you might want to say to your client, I forgot to start tracking while I was working. Do you mind if I add some manual time or just explain to them the situation? So we can also click here on view work diary, and this will bring us to all of the work we have done for the client that week or that month, etc. So for example, this has opened up my work diary. You select the client you want to view here. If you click on the calendar icon and scroll through, you can see a little green dot will represent the days that you worked for that client. So for example, if I click here, you can see on this day, I tracked 0.2 hours doing a revision for a voiceover. And you can flip through on the different days and see how much time I worked. So for example, if I click on this, you can see a screenshot was automatically taken of me at work, and it also showed my activity level. So it shows your usage of the keyboard, of the mouse, and this just allows your client to see that you are on your computer, you are working, you haven't just left this screen open. Another thing I want to show you is that you can adjust settings with the time tracker by clicking on this settings icon. Then click settings, and from here, you can choose whether it's going to capture all your monitors or your active monitor. You can also turn on or off the desktop notifications. So if you find it distracting that this little notification pops up and says that a screen capture has been taken, you can turn that off. You can also change the notification type and you can even add a notification sound if you want. I find that distracting, so I have it turned off. You can adjust the time zones. You can enable a web camera if you want. You can add reminders if you want a reminder to change the memo every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes. Here they show you some keyboard shortcuts and we also have advanced settings. So finally, I want to talk about getting paid. Let's say you worked on Monday and Tuesday this week. When are you going to get paid? So first of all, to view all of your work and the amount of money you expect to get paid, you'll click on reports, then click on overview, and that will bring up this page here. Right now, I have nothing in progress. I've been on holiday, but you can see here we have work in progress, in review, pending, available, and then your last payment. So work in progress, this includes hours logged for the current work week. They will be automatically sent to the client for review Sunday night. So in review, this represents hours logged last week that are now under review by your clients. Clients have five days to review your work diary. Hourly payments are in the security period from the time the client review ends on Friday to when the funds are released on Wednesday. So on this Upwork article for clients, you can see that Clients are billed on a weekly basis. Freelancers log their hours each week until midnight on Sundays. The hours logged are billed automatically every Monday and you have until Friday to review the work. Then Upwork will release the funds to the freelancer the following Wednesday. So because of this review process, it takes a bit longer to get paid, but don't worry because there is hourly payment protection. I have never had any problems getting paid for any of the hourly rate jobs I have done. I have always been paid and I have never had any problems. Make sure to check out my full playlist on Upwork if you are looking to get started as a freelancer. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in my next video.